Hello QPR fans and players, TV, home and away, DJ Ranger back in the place once again with um, a match summary of the game today between the QPR fans and Millwall fans which was played at the Linford Christie Stadium, um, which could be a future ground for QPR or if not, it'll be number pitch 83 up the, at the back near the train depot. Um, yeah, so the game was played at Linford Christie Stadium earlier on today um, and here is the match review from what I, I saw and what was put as well, obviously, when I got involved. Um, but, yeah, it's, um, you know, so basically the team itself, as you know yourself from the picture the other day, was um, as follows. We had, so I just got my old paperwork here. Jeff, the, Jeff, the drinker to it in goal. Uh, left back. We had Jamie, the cap, Nottage. In the middle of defence, we had... Terry Scratch Card Millichop. And partner him in the centre of defence was Natalie the Barker McGurk. And then at right back, we had James Soldier Man Grant. So, uh, and then in midfield, let me just get the old team sheet out for you, ladies and gents. Uh, in the middle, uh, we had Neil the Driver Aaron, partnering Phil I'm Hard Mitchell. And then in left midfield, we had Rob, fan of the year, Hannafan. And right midfield, we had Gary, the puffer, Wilton. And up top, up front, we had two up top today. We had Ellis, Everett, Owen, and Elana, the badge, Wise. And obviously on the subs bench, we had uh, DJ, Spin and Ranger, left midfield. Uh, sub goalkeeper was Kieran, big man, Berry. Uh, right wing, we had Chris the runner Kemp. Uh, right midfield, we had Jimmy Hammer and Hallett. And right back today was Steve Iceman Frost. Uh, so that was the starting 11 plus subs for the game, which um, Lee and Richard Butler were joint managers for the game today. Um, so, anyway, let's get on with the game, ladies and gents. Um, I've got the old Wrote down there from what I saw of it and what I was given. So obviously, once again, Rangers started on the slow foot in the game. Started off slow, like the first team. Surprise, surprise. Um, Jeff Tewitt was called into action pretty early, but um, he dealt with this. He made some saves, and you know, and the defense put some good blocks into um, from Terry Scratch Card Mirchop to Natalie McGark, uh, Barker the McGurk, and James Soldier Man Grant. Plus, Jamie the Cap Nottage, it was just giving them a bit of grief for missing their chances. That's typical of Jamie the Cap Nottage, giving it the large one. Um, you know, it's that's part and parcel of footwear, you know. Um, but then QPR fans started getting into the game a bit more. Um, James Soldier Man Grant got injured early in the game, but he got dealt with and he's managed to carry on. But I think he's still struggling with the injury, but fair play to him for carrying on. And, um, you know, along with Neil, the driver, Aaron and Phil Hardman Mitchell getting involved a bit more, creating stuff for the team in the middle of the park, along with Rob Hannafan and, you know, putting the work in with his, uh, with his non-stop running, travelling up and down the pitch. But he's good at travelling up and down like he does. And um, Gary the Huffer, the, Gary the Puffer, sorry, Wilton. Who just huffed and puffed around the pitch, but done the job for the team. Um, and then obviously up top, Elias over in and Alana Badge Wise had some attempts, but not clear cut. But the chances were kind of coming for the, for the QPR team. Um, you know, that carried on. They weren't, weren't, weren't much more the first half realistically. Um, both sides like Carter had a half of chances, but nothing major. So it finished at half time, nil nil. Um, Spoke to the managers, Lee and, Lee and Richard, and they decided to make a couple of changes for the game. So, um, so myself, DJ Spin and Ranger, replaced Rob Fan of the Year, Hannah Fan. And Jimmy Hammer and Hallett replaced Gary the Puffer, Wilton. Um, both Rob Fan of the Year and Gary the Puffer, Wilton, both played their part in, um, in the first half. But the joint management of Lee and Richard, what he changes, um, 
they thought another way would be doing it. So that's what happened, ladies and gents. So the QPR fans are kicking towards Wilma Scott's prison in the second half, which is the equivalent of the loft end, by the counts. Um, anyway, so uh, QPR fans have started quickly in the half. That's quite a surprise, because that normally happens as well in, in, in normal games. They must be watching them too much. And looking to, to catch, uh, catch Mill with some, some early breaks and early problems. Um, both myself and Jimmy been involved quite a bit heavily in the, in the opening stage of the second half. But we still had no joy. Mill were holding firm. So you have to give them a bit of credit too. Um, you know. But the game started to open up a bit more in the second half. And, you know... Tackles were flying in, in a typical London derby. You know, there was bookings as well. Phil Mitchell getting involved, as he does, being the hard man of the team, allegedly. And Jamie the Cat Nottage, mouthing off. That's nothing new, as he was giving it to the Millwall players. And, um, yeah, so um, so we carry on. It's, um, it's getting a bit more fiery out there in the game as the game goes on. But Ranger and the QBR fans team are in control of the game. And uh, Natalie, the Barker McGurk, and in the centre of defence, along with Terry Scratch Car Mirchop, forming a great partnership both on and off the pitch. Um, you know, she's barking out the orders to her fellow teammates to keep them in on their toes, which she normally does. She's got, um, you know, giving it to her teammates. Keep them on their toes and stuff. Plenty of plenty of shouting. Plenty of um, you know, getting their teammates up for the game and stuff, both on and off the pitch. Um, you know, it's it's part of the team, isn't it, ladies and gents? It's part of the team. You need that in the team as well. As well as all the nice play, you need a bit of steel and grit in there. And let, let the players know where they're coming from. Um they're trying to, Millwall trying to like, like obviously then try to do other stuff, trying to catch us on catch the cute guard team on the counter attack, but um, they couldn't find a way past Jeff and the defence standing firm, as especially you know James Grant who's still injured, but he soldiers on like a true warrior. Um, you know, it's um, you know you tell the real real players that the ones that get stuck in and what he's one of them. Um, you know, coming through the second half still, and, uh, you know, it's QPR just went on to score a breakthrough goal. Uh, Neil the driver, Aaron, who set up Ellis Owen to score the first goal. Um, you know, it was a great move from the team. Um, great run by Neil, set up Ellis, who put it away nicely. QPR winning 1-0. Mill, Mill fans have got to be on the front foot again now. Which they did. They were coming in attacks, but we dealt with it, creating the chance after chance. Jeff the two it looked a bit unsteady um, at times during the second half. Now I don't know whether him and Kieran Berry had some non-soft drinks at half time, which I'm sure they did. But um, you know, fair play to Kieran, he was encouraging the team on in the throughout the whole game, to be fair, like the rest of the subs were. Um, but Jeff stood up and uh, he's managed to do his job to the best he can with the help of the crossbar a few times, which um, the shots beat him by. So, um, but yeah, Jeff was still carrying on. I don't know whether he had a drink. He has got a drink in the back of the gold net, but I don't know what's in it. Um, it's not Guinness, so I don't know. It's ain't clear, so it could be vodka. I don't know. But anyway, we're carrying on, ladies and gents. Um, the manager's Liam Richard Butler made another sub this time, taking bringing Chris the runner Kemp on, who replaces Ellis Everett Rowan, who ran his heart out for the team as normal, um, to line up a bit, to stretch the Millwall team again, because Chris loves his running, um, you know, as we all know. More tackles flying in the game in his London derby. The ref needs to keep the players in check, which he does to a degree. And then uh, there was a challenge from Terry Scratch card middle chop. And the ref decides to book him because he found him too aggressive. And that's a yellow, another yellow card for Terry Scratch card, middle chop. But he does like his cards, doesn't he? So um, we all know that. 
Anyway, not long to go in the game, ladies and gents. And QPR on the attack once more. Um, team are playing the ball around nicely, um, starting from the back of the defence, from the keeper outwards. And Neil Aaron, Neil on the drive, Aaron picks the ball up just outside his own area. And he's running with the ball, passing it left and right. Still gets it back, just stepping over the halfway line, who as he was. Uh, Millwall fan playing, players are just letting him run with the ball, which gives him space. He's looking left and right, but then he decides to take a shot from just outside the box. And he scores QBR's fans' second team goal. Uh, great move by the team. Great move by, by the squad. Um, make it 2-0 QBR. And, you know, it's like the roar from the scrubs is louder this time. You can hear him shouting, come on, you ours. Um, which must have been helpful for the fans, of course. Um, another change from Lee and Richard Butler. With about 15 minutes to go. Steve Iceman Frost replacing James Soldierman Grant. He's, he's finally had to come off due to his injury, but he's lasted a long time, ladies and gents. So fair play to James Grant. Um, you know, as I say, 15 minutes in the game left. Keep your, own, keep your fans in total control of the game now. Jimmy Hammer and Hallett and Chris Runner Kemp are causing the Millwall fan team so many problems. They just can't handle them. Um, you know, and myself, DJ Spinner, Spinner, Spinner Ranger, has got some of the Millwall players spinning. With the work rate I'm putting in, that wasn't me writing that. That was someone else whilst I was on the pitch. Um, so all the subs are getting involved to a degree, playing their part in the time. Um, Millwall fans are still getting forward a bit, but not really doing much, um, which is good defence from the from the attack up to the defence and the keeper. Steve Yarsman Frost trying to keep things cool on the pitch as tempers are flying. There's still a bit in the game. Um... You know, and then obviously both teams had more chances for the game, ladies and gents. Um, the tackles were still going in from both teams, but it's a London derby, as you know, it's um, which can be expected. Um, the ref finally blows the game for the whistle, and the QBR offense win 2 2 0 with goals from Ellis Everett Owen and Neil the driver Aaron. The game was a typical London derby, ladies and gents. Uh, it was feisty at times, there was bookings, then there was goals as well. Um, that was a match summary from myself, ladies and gents, from what I saw on the sidelines before I come on, and for the team who'd done the rest for me. But I'm going to quickly go through key moments in the game for each individual player who played. So I'm going to start with Jeff, the drinker to it. Um, Jeff kept the clean sheet in the game with some important saves and a few which hit the crossbar, which he was happy about. He was even happy hitting the blue and white bar after the game to celebrate. Uh, Terry scratch card middle chop. Terry made some big tackles and blocks, but eventually got booked for being too aggressive in the tackles he was putting in. After the final whistle, Terry went up to the ref and asked if he could have the yellow and red card to go with his scratch card selection. Uh, moving swiftly on, ladies and gents, we had uh, left back Jamie the Cat Nottage. Uh, tries to give his all on the pitch, plenty of mouth to go with it with his style of play. And to cap it off, just like he does off the pitch when he wears his gold cap. Plenty of mouth, ladies and gents. Watch him, watch him for that one. Uh, right back, we had James Soldierman Grant. Solid player, gives it all on the pitch, just like in battle. Got injured early on in the game, but soldiering like a true soldier for the team. Until he got, it, until he got taken off with about 15 minutes to go and was replaced by Steve Iceman Frost. Um, in midfield, we had left midfield, we had Rob, fan of the year, Hannafan. Rob travels up and down the pitch non-stop like he travels up and down the country with work and watching QPR play. Very versatile player, can play in various positions. Every team needs a player like Rob. Fair play, Rob, for travelling up and down the pitch and up and down the country, mate. Right midfield, Gary the Puffer Wilton. Huff the puff for the time he was on the pitch. Just like he huffs and puffs on the cigarette, but not sure what type of cigarette he smokes. But he'd done a job in the first half that he'd done, which is required from him, and that's what it's all about, ladies and gents. So well done to Gary the Puffer Wilton. Um, in the middle of midfield, we had Neil the driver Aaron. Drives the team on from central midfield all game. Has got plenty of gas in the tank, just like when he drives the home and away games watching QBR. He set up the first goal. 
with a driving pass Ellis to score from and scored a second with a driving run and shot himself. Um, so he could be a possible man in the match, a, a, ten, a, a possibility, ladies and gents. Partnering Neil in the midfield, Phil, I'm hard Mitchell. So-called hard man on the team, gets stuck in for the team all over the place, just like his namesake, Phil Mitchell, who stars on the TV programme, but does a job for the team. Solid player. Top player as well. Phil Mitchell. And up top, ladies and gents, we had Ellis Everett Owen. Ellis is everywhere over the pitch, helping out his teammates. Got his reward by scoring the first goal for QPR fans' team. Just like he's everywhere watching QPR and England play and for work too. And partnering alongside Ellis was Alana the Badge Wise. Alana plays for the club, the fans, but mostly the badge, which is nothing new as she has plenty of QPR badges to choose from in her locker. But she does a job for the side and puts in a shift for the team. Obviously, the Suds bench. Uh, myself, DJ Spin and Ranger. Um, when I come on the pitch, obviously I was told that uh, you know I had some of the middle players spinning in circles with some of the work rate and the moves I was creating passes for. Uh, Kieran, the big man, Berry, sub goalkeeper, uh, wasn't wasn't um, chosen to play today by Leo Richard Butler, but he was very vocal on the sidelines, and I'm sure he helped Jeff out at half time with a few sneaky vodkas or something to keep him going during the game. But it helped because as we won 2 0 and Jeff made some great saves. So well done to the support sidelines. Um Chris the runner Kemp, he come on and done his normal thing running, non-stop running up and down the right wing, like he does with his marathons. Um, you know. And uh, I'm sure one day we might see him actually run through a few raid games as well, watching QPR. But well done, Chris, for the work rate. Well done, mate. Keep up the running too, fella. Uh, right midfield, we had Jimmy Harum Hallett. He come on as well throughout the game. Um, it was putting some hammer hammer tackles in, some hammer passes in, which caused Millwall fans lots of problems. And he was dancing himself around the pitch sometimes like he does off it as well. Um, I haven't seen him action, but I'm sure it will be sometime soon. So keep on dancing, keep on hammering Jimmy Harum and last but not least, Steve Iceman Frost. Come on, we're about last 15 minutes to go. We replaced uh, James Soldier and Grant. You need a cool head on the pitch at times, and today was no no uh, no choice. There had to be some cool heads because it was getting fiery out there. And Steve was one of them, as is as known as the Iceman Frost. He went about his job. He kept tried to keep things cool on the pitch, which he done himself, and helped his other teammates out in a fiery contested game. Uh, that's it myself, ladies and gents, for QPR fans and Players TV with a match summary of the QPR fans v Millwall fans which was played today at the Linford Christie Stadium not far from Kai and Prince Foundation Stadium where the result was QPR fans 2, Millwall fans 0 goal scored by Ellis, Everywhere Owen and Neil the driver Aaron That's it myself, DJ Ranger for QPR fans and Players TV home and away, I'm out of here, come on you ours and uh, hopefully we'll get the same result this afternoon uh, the fans have done their job. Now let's see if the team can do theirs. Once again, that's it for myself, DJ Ranger. For QPR fans and Players TV, home and away, I'm out of here. Come on, you arse.